The program we're talking to you about today is a social studies program and it's called Build Me a Neighborhood. It has been extremely successful. It meets social studies content standards. How can you do a program on how a neighborhood changes over time? There are different things you could look at. Maybe you could find photographs. Maybe you could, you could do oral histories with older people, a number of things. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty, it's the census data that has the information on a neighborhood. And we took three streets, Tremont, Jefferson, and Starkweather. We were able to gather the census information for every house on those streets from 1880, 1900, 1910, 1920, 1930 we would look at two categories, the ethnicity if it would change, and also the occupation. So we statistically reduced the information on those three, three streets to a representative 30 households. We made these little maps that would have a place for 30 households, and we color-coded the occupations, and they would choose the blocks, so they would actually build a house at that occupation on each of the 30 then we also had these other little blocks that we would use for the ethnicities. And so they would figure out the ethnicities from the data we gave them and put that on there. But we'd stop after they did the occupations and they could look at the colors and see how a neighborhood would have changed. Then they do the ethnicities and then they could just look and see how it changed. And they would be writing the history of the neighborhood as they interpreted it. It explains to kids how you can use a primary source like a census in order to come up with information about what happened in the past. As the children would work on this and they would come to these conclusions, they would be the ones interpreting the history. And they actually become historians themselves.